How's it going guys? It's Richard again and welcome to a, my second episode of A Road to Max Cape. Now I didn't really get much in the way of live levels this week but as you can see in the background this is me just using some of my Dominion Tower XP books that I got. Because I found the combat to be like, at the time I was just doing the easy ones, this is before the evolution of combat by the way that I did this, but I, do, I was just doing a lot of the easy bosses and I just made a fair stack of XP books in my inventory and just thought, yeah just, I'll use them all at the end to see how much XP I can get. I used them all in prayer so I could save myself a little bit of money. But at the same time, I was thinking, well, there's no real point in using them in combat because combat XP is just obscenely quick in the evolution of combat. And then I thought, well, summoning not really that important. Now, a couple of next couple of things, my farming level. I forgot to get my video out, so I had to take a really quick screenshot. And as well as that, I got my 92 dungeoneering in the background there. Next clip here is me getting 95 runecrafting. I wasn't actually getting runecrafting for the XP. I was actually doing it for the points because I'm trying to do a guide on the Wicked Hood and any sort of free XP and runes you can get every day from that and you can expect to see that at some point soon so teaser almost <laughs> no not really it's um I haven't actually started making it at all but it's just I was just getting the requirements to actually do that guide and the next clip we're gonna see is me getting a defense level that I got when I was doing jungle strike ones earlier uh kind of retarded if you watch in the clip closely you'll notice that it says that I unlocked adamant plate bodies hmm not entirely sure why getting 88 defense now means I can wear adamant plate bodies, but you know, that's um, Jagex's new logic. With that, that screwed up, I assume the level system is pretty messed up for that. And finally, we're going to go into the live game and sort of XP and stuff that I'm going to be getting today live. Sorry that it's a bit of a shorter episode than usual, but I didn't really get much of the way levels this week because I was doing a lot of EOC guys and things like that. So that'll be, well, from now on in, it's going to be live audio. So here we are into the live game. And as promised last week, I'm going to start off by going to the Berthorp chap to hand in all my challenges because I, I stacked up five across the week. It took me an extra day because I got given the light the light the beacons thing, and I'm not going to lie, I really didn't feel like doing that challenge because it's just a massive amount of effort, not really worth the XP. It just it takes a long time of setting up, so I decided not to bother, and just basically just go an extra day and get myself an extra challenge to wipe that one off the bottom. So let's go and hand all of these in and look at all these chaps. Walk along with their claws. Right, so let's hand it in. So the challenges, let's spam through them. Actually, I've got a, a better idea. I'm going to set up an XP counter. Remove my runecrafting one, because that was just there while I was getting a few runecrafting levels. So let's change that one to overall level. And we'll see how much XP we get from this. Spam through the challenges. 11k prayer, 31k runecrafting, 16k smithing, 3k farming, 24k herbalor. Well, that's put Herbal pretty close, actually. Well, 85k. Smithing's also pretty close. Runecrafting, 188k. So that was a fair amount of XP. One, that 88k. I'm not going to lie, I was expecting to get a little bit more than that, but, you know, you can't have everything. So let's open these Challenge Mystery Rags and also see what we get from these. I'll do the spins as well really quickly. Frost Dragon Bones. Might actually use them to do some prayer. Uncut Dragon Stones. And a bunch of Mahogany Planks. Let's quickly price check these, see how much money we've made as well as XP. 500k, that's a bit better. 24k? That's not too bad so far. I'm pretty sure I spent a lot more than that, especially because I had to do a lot of artisan workshop things. And the initial cost was that I had to get all the respect by the plans for the steel ceremonial sword. And if you've ever done the ceremonial swords, I didn't bother looking up a guide for it because I thought it'd be pretty easy to do, but actually I got so infuriated at the game because it kept on breaking my swords to start with because I didn't understand the best methods and everything. And I got, yeah, I just got so pissed off in it. And I actually used a lot more ores and stuff than I expected to. But let's do our spins quickly. Got five spins. Just making sure it doesn't like show my like password or my pin or anything. Not that I've ever bought spins because obviously it wouldn't show it. So, first one. Just love it if I get rare. 5k coins. As always, it's just going to be a lot of coins. Small XP lamp. Clean that. Spin. Medium XP lamp, fletching, really slow skill that one actually, that's going to be really useful because no one really does fletching these days because it's a really really difficult skill, it's like, it's like the agility and constitution, so not really much in the way of anything decent. And no real money, so that's not great. Constitution, fletching. Right, I heard, is it, I don't know if it's just the... Um, defensive lamps like if you use it in if the specific ones that are for prayer defense and is it summoning that you get extra xp or whether or whether like you, if you use the custom ones it does it as well but i'm not going to risk it gonna go for agility and 4k agility 
there we go right now the next thing i want to do is if you've like heard about the combat academy and everything and you get extra xp from it i'm gonna go and do that right now so go to drain village and apparently if you don't know you've got to talk to diango to do it it should have given you a message in game but probably like knowing jagex it like went through the chat filter and everything so you wouldn't have seen it but where is diango and i'm probably gonna have to go through a ridiculous amount of redeem code let's redeem code I'd like to redeem an item code. No. <laughs> that's, that's not what I want to go for. Oh, there we go. XP lamp and a cape. Dust your tone. No. Ignore that. So, what have we got here? Is this cape of validation? Oh, I think that's just a random cape you get for, like, entering a password and stuff. So, we're going to destroy that. I don't need that absolutely pointless now let's read this reward book see what we get also I don't know I have an XP lamp as well so let's find out what we get from this it's kind of a bit of a shame that I haven't been getting any live levels that I can think of this week so I might put it I'll put it in thieving actually actually no I might as well I'll go and do thieving live in a minute for you guys because I, I want to actually get some levels live which would be kind of cool so right choose a skill I'm just gonna stick it in agility that's a reasonably high level Oh, 66k XP. Oh, yeah, it, apparently it's the value of 10 times the shard amount. So, like, like the, not shard, the strange rocks. So when you're handing the strange rocks, or you do your jack of trades, then that's, the amount you get is 10 times what you'd normally get from that. So I'm just going to throw that in agility. Might as well get it done. 66k agility. So, so in terms of XP we've earned so far today, in like about 2 minutes, then 188k, which I'm pretty sure that if you work that as XP per hour is like a mil, so like prayer. And this small lamp, shiny lamp here. Let's find out how much is this. Oh, 4K. <laughs> Not quite as uh, amazing as I thought it was, but it's still something. I didn't. I didn't realise I had that. I'd assume that's from like validating my email or something that I was completely unaware of. So not really much exciting the way there. What I'm going to do though, let's go to Apatol. Grab my items and do my Apatol. I'm sorry that there's not more live this week, but I just wanted to get a video out. Just for you guys, in case you're wondering and whatnot. So, what do I need to get at Apatol? I need my Grigris. I go for yeah, I go for a gorilla. And on top of, I think I actually need the gorilla to do the monkey knife fighters. And on top of that, I need a banana. Each one of these. I'm probably just choosing the runes completely wrong. I never remember the runes. And banana. My bank isn't. Ah, oh, I don't have a banana. Right. Well, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get my XP. Not my XP. I'm going to get my banana. And then go get some XP in thieving, and then I'll come back in a couple of minutes when I'm like, a, like 10 XP off level or something, so that we can get a level live on video. Right. Um. I was actually I was doing some of my um, some some of my thieving, and then I got thrown in jail. And it seems the way that the monkey Grigri works is it basically screws up completely when you get removed to jail. And I've I don't know what's happened to my character. I'm free to I'm entirely free to roam um, ro roam around uh, this area. What this area called Apatol now as a as a normal player. But unfortunately, my character is completely screwed. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm pretty close to the level now. I'm about I think I'm about seven k XP away. So let's see what I look like when I'm doing this. <laughs> when my character's a little bit screwed up. If you don't know how to thieve these, by the way, you literally just punch them and you can get two thieves in while they're unconscious. Although apparently you can't if you manage to misclick like that. But I mean, look how screwed up that looks. I mean, what what has happened to my character? It's gone absolutely crazy. Anyway, that was just a, a really quick update <laughs> while I'm doing my thieving. So I'll be back in a second when I've actually completed the, the little gain of XP and then obviously we'll do it live and get the level. Right, so here we are at the Monkey Knife Fighters. And I've been getting massively trolled, and it seems nearly every time I punch them, this happens. Although I have a feeling they haven't actually updated the damage, because I swear you always used to get 60 damage dealt from these guys. And now we've obviously the massive amounts of LP that we've got. That's kind of different. I f I don't understand what's happened to my character. I just I can't help laughing at it. I, it's like I, it's really hard to explain. But the way that my head is moving like that is just really really weird. Anyway, let's actually get on with doing some thieving. <laughs> How close are we to a level? There we go, level up. That was 76 thieving. Woo! I th that, that's the only live, um, the only live level we're going to get today. I'm afraid I'm going to make an effort to remember to not get any more live levels next week. Uh, well, and then we also have tiers of gothics and things like that to do. A little bit more XP, 
do stuff like Jack of Trades live and everything. When I say live, obviously, I mean like as I'm recording it because I can't live stream, unfortunately, because my upload limits are too bad for that. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to call up BT and say, look, I, am, I run a, a very small time YouTube channel. It'd be nice to have a little bit more upload bandwidth because at the moment it just makes a lot of things impossible because if you don't know it takes me a good hour to upload like say an eight minute video and things like my guides were taking uh, probably a good two hours and that's with kind of low rendering settings because I you probably notice that the um, the graphic settings aren't that great for the rendering but I'm, I did my best to find sort of a reasonable file size to quality ratio but anyway thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed my character being a little bit retarded <laughs> gonna report that later but I hope to see you in the next Road to Maxcape, where we'll see how well we're doing.